Now let's just jump right over to the phones because <laughs> waiting for us on the other end of that line is the director of the Rockford Regional Office of the Better Business Bureau. It's our good friend Dennis Horton. Dennis, good morning. Good morning, Riley. How are you? I'm terrific. How's everything going with you? Uh, actually, terrific as well. All right. You ready for fall? I love fall. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm looking at, looking at my sweaters now, so I'm, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I just per standing in front of the closet going, uh, that one, I think that's a good one. That'll be a Wednesday <laughs> sweater. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's another good one. Yeah, I got to start doing that myself. All right. Well, let's go. Let's move over from fashion onto protecting you guys and your wallets. Uh, Dennis has got some great stuff for us this morning. Let's talk about catalytic converter thefts, for instance. It isn't something that you would spring to mind that it's an issue, but it has become a, a, a major issue. Uh, Illinois ranks number five in terms of people who are getting um, their catalytic converters cut out of their cars. Um, in fact, I'm not exactly sure how, where Rockford stands, but I know from the calls that we have gotten and from having it happen to my own car. Really? Um, uh, yeah, and then when you, I went to have a, have it repaired and uh, was told, oh, you, you're not alone in this. Um, I, I wondered what was going on and what has happened. I happened to park in a lot um, and overnight, uh, leaving my car there uh, because I was traveling, uh, thinking it would be okay when I came home. Sure. And, and when I got into it, um, being that it is... Uh, a hybrid, uh, when you start the car, there is no sound, except in this case, it was very loud. <laughs> um, looked under and found uh, that it had uh, that uh, something that shouldn't be there was all uh, crumpled up and beaten um, to find out that the catalytic converter had been cut out of it. Uh, had a call from a gentleman who had his uh, RV parked for repair and found that um, his catalytic converter was cut out. Uh, when I had the car repaired, um, the mechanic said that on their lot, they had had catalytic converters cut out. Um, junk dealers. And uh, they can get about 800 bucks a piece for uh, these stolen catalytic converters. Really? 800 bucks a piece? Because, you know, I, I remember back when the catalytic converters first come, came into play, there were there were people who were moving around hiring someone to remove it because they didn't want to deal with it. But the idea of, well, oh, no, you don't have to hire someone. They'll just steal it right off there for you. Yeah, and and um, from the reports that we have gotten, and I've had reports from, from uh, Rockford as well as uh, it was such an issue in Elgin that the police department put out uh, an alert uh, to, to make sure that we are protecting our cars. Um, and in, in this case, your wallet um, repair is, is uh, in the thousands of dollars. So uh, having a new one put in um, can cost you uh, about 1700 to $2,000. Wow. So. Wow! See, yeah, this is educational. I didn't. I didn't know any of these things. Uh, yeah, the containment of precious metals: platinum, palladium, rhodium, valuable to metal dealers. And how's this for a stat? Thefts of catalytic converters have skyrocketed from an average of 108 per month in 2018 to 2,347 in December of last year. Yes. And you, you would think during a pandemic this would not be an issue, but it has become an amazing issue. Uh, the, the numbers you got for uh, up through December, yeah, um, are, they're just the startling for of July of 2020 through uh, June of this year, with up to 18,000 so far this year. <laughs> okay. It, 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 yeah. Uh, what we have to make sure that we uh, do to protect ourselves is to... Uh, Park your car in a in a garage because they literally will pull into your 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 garage with thieves or uh, your driveway and with a sawzall um, cut it out and be gone within minutes. Um, yeah, I was going to say, how long does the whole process take from someone crawling under to uh, them crawling back out and taking off with your catalytic converter? About ten minutes. Ten minutes. Uh, yes, ten minutes. That's those are the the, the time frame that I have been given. 
Uh, so And it can be done very quickly. So you park in the garage or make sure that if you're, you're parking in your driveway, it's well lit. Um, and if you don't have access to a garage, just make, make sure that um, if you are parking in a public uh, location, uh, parking lot, uh, do so in a well-lighted area so that uh, it can be uh, seen. Um, and it's possible, make sure you park near other vehicles that make it more difficult for them to jack the car up. Yeah. I, I, I was parked alone in an area, <laughs> so I made it very simple for them to, uh, to, to, to pull in and jack the car up and, and out of there. All right. Learn from Dennis's uh, mistake that he didn't even know he was making that most of us wouldn't even have known we were making. Uh, yeah. Get uh, next to other people. Make sure you, you, you're near a light. And uh, if, other than that, you know, throw a bunch of rat traps under your car. I don't know what else to do to try to try to ward that off. I, I kind of like that rat trap uh, <laughs> idea from the yelling. Yeah. Uh, you might, you, you might uh, uh, be able to uh, prevent them from... Uh, Get into your catalytic converter. Yeah, watch the guy screaming down the street with six rat traps on his arm. <laughs> That's the guy you're looking for, officer. All right, so be on the lookout for that one. What about uh, what about moving scams? This is a time of the year. We we, we have to issue uh, alerts to people uh, twice a year about moving scams in the spring and again in the fall. Uh, October is is one of the most uh, busy uh, months for moving. And that's when the scammers come out, the fly-by-night uh, movers. And it's especially important this year because of the, the eviction moratorium uh, was lifted this past weekend. And there are a lot of people who will need to move and who will need to do that uh, using a mover. And the scammers are out there, and, uh, and they'll be there uh, running their schemes. Uh, the things that happen with people... We get thousands of complaints, uh, 13,000 complaints and negative reviews about movers uh, last year. Wow. And, and it's not, uh, uh, those aren't national figures. Those are BBD Chicago, Rockford figures. So when we look at uh, the number of people who are impacted by it, we really want people to make sure that if they have to move, um, that they are being very wary of the people that they're doing business with, that they pick a reputable mover, uh, it, which is not hard to do. Uh, you can find um, in our database, and this is nationally, but uh, 20,000 different um, moving companies are listed in our database. So finding a mover is not difficult. And what happens to people very frequently is that when they get a, a bad mover, uh, they're their belongings are held hostage. Uh, their, the, the, the payment that they uh, initially uh, negotiated has skyrocketed, and then they're, 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 they can't get their furniture and other belongings delivered. Uh, or they will pay a down payment, their furniture will be picked up, and they never see it again. So you need to be very careful when you're uh, in, in the process of moving. Yeah, I had read about uh, I had read about that one in particular where uh, there was a couple of, I think they highlighted from Iowa who had uh, called a uh, non reputable mover although they didn't realize that and uh, the person came loaded up all their stuff and uh, turned right around after they left their driveway uh, closed the business and drove off with that truck full of their stuff which was then later sold off to whoever wanted to buy it. Yeah, um, and, and it happens more frequently than you know. So. Uh, is something that we have to uh, make sure that we are uh, cognizant of and uh, do all that we can to prevent it ha from happening to yourself. All right, so get in touch with the BBB, check their database, look at the uh, reputable ones, the ones that uh, you know people have had uh, plenty of good luck with and uh, aren't, aren't ashamed to put down a positive review for. And if it's just a couple of guys down the block who are doing this as a sideline, uh, be careful of what you're, you're paying for. Yeah, be careful, exactly. You know, know who you're dealing with. All right, yeah, that uh, the whole idea of your your entire household being on a truck and then either being held hostage or you being told, yeah, we um, we closed up. We have no idea where that truck is, and we probably never will. 
Yeah, and, and uh, we've had reports of, of people who have gone to the uh, warehouse where their furniture was first being uh, uh, held, uh, could see their furniture, but the, the place is locked up and they can't get to it. Huh. Oh, oh, gosh, that's just, you wanna, you, we always talk about the feeling of violation. That's got to be yeah. a huge one there. Your things and you, and you can't get them. Yeah, you can see all your stuff over there. Now, go on home. You can't have any of it. Yeah, watch out and and call the right people. Start out by calling the BBB on that one. And finally, uh, some identity theft prevention we can all get behind here. You know, uh, Riley, uh, identity theft uh, still remains to be one of the number one scams uh, and, and schemes and, and, and frauds that people deal with. And it's not just uh, uh, things losing your identity when uh, there's a breach or you, you get hacked yourself. Uh, identity thieves literally will go through the trash and get all kinds of personal information uh, to rip you off. So to prevent that, we, along with the Better Business Bureau, along with members of Lions Credit Union, uh, are hosting um, our free community shred day. And uh, this is the first time that we've done that um, in 18 months because we've had to cancel for our last year and a half sure. due to the pan due to the pandemic. Um, it will be held this Saturday, October 9th, um, at Members Alliance Credit Union at 2550 South Alpine, which is at the corner of Alpine and Harrison, uh, from 9 a.m. to noon. You can bring uh, two boxes per car of your important financial papers that you need to get rid of uh, and make sure that they don't fall in the hands of a thief. Yeah, because when that happens, then all of your, your tax documents, your insurance stuff, all the stuff that are, are, are really for your eyes only become a, <laughs> become a target for someone else. Yes, um, a good rule of thumb is to keep all your uh, tax records and supporting documentation for at least seven years. Um, keep your credit card statements for seven years if they're tax related as well, or until you can reconcile it with your own statement. Um, make sure you keep your uh, paycheck stubs for a year. Um, be sure to keep your bank statements. So you see all these things that we are told that we need to keep, but then when those that, that year or those time frames. Uh, expire, what do you do with it? Well, you don't just toss it in the trash. You, you toss it in, uh, in the trash if you shredded it at home. But if you don't have a shredder and you need to get rid of it, uh, and I imagine now, after a year and a half of not being able to do it in many cases, uh, there are a lot of people out there who can use the service, and it's free. Yeah, and even if you have a shredder, you know what you have piled up there is more than going to wear it out. Uh, yeah, you go with the pros. So uh, let's give the whys and wherefores again. What time should people show up and uh, limitations and all that? Uh, two boxes per, t per vehicle. Um, it is this Saturday, October 9th, at Members Alliance Credit Union. Um, at uh, 2550 South Alpine in the corner of Alpine and Harrison from 9 a.m. to noon. And no charge. And, and no charge. And if you have any questions, you can give us a call at the Better Business Bureau, and uh, I'll do my best to answer whatever your query might be. Outstanding. And speaking of people wanting to get in touch, maybe they want to know about moving, and they don't want that to happen to them, or there's a little bit more on catalytic converters they'd like to, to know, or maybe they've got information. How do people reach out and make contact with you? You can give us a call at uh, area code 815-963-2222. Dennis, outstanding report. Uh, I know you're going to save some people a lot of time, trouble, and money with this one, and plus get a whole bunch of shreddables out of that house and taken care of. I appreciate the effort. We'll look forward to getting together again in a couple of weeks. Thank you, Riley. There's our yeah, friend Dennis Orton. You too. He's the uh, director of the Rockford Regional Office of the Better Business Bureau.